Hello, my name is Eduardo, and today I am here with a new tutorial. This tutorial is about how to move things in App Inventor. So, if you don't know how to move things in App Inventor, this video is for you. And in this video, I will show you the easiest way to move things in App Inventor. But before we start with this wonderful tutorial, please like this video, okay, and share it with someone who's learning App Inventor. So let's start creating a new project. I have here my project now, and we are going to add a canvas. We use the canvas in App Inventor when we create games. So when we have this, we are going to change the size and color of this canvas. So I'm going to add a blue color for the canvas and also I'm going to set the size for the canvas using the percentage. You can use some of these values similar to mine. Now we are going to add a sprite. So we added add the sprite to the canvas. Now we need to upload an image for the sprite. So in this case I'm going to use a very simple PNG image that I did in Inkscape. After you uploaded the image, it is very important that you assign the image to the sprite. So use the drop menu. Now, we are going to experiment a little before we create something, okay? So, in this case, we are going to change the value in the sprite that is the speed and we are going to set it to 5. After we do this, we can see that the sprite is moving to the right. So, this is the way to move the sprite to the right. Now, if we change the value to minus 5, we are going to see the opposite thing. The sprite is moving to the left. Now, to move it upwards or downwards, we are going to use another property, that is the heading. So, we are going to set the heading property to minus 90. Now, if you see, the ship is moving, but it looks a, a little bit weird. So let's uncheck the option that it says rotates. Now the ship looks okay and it's moving downwards. If we change the heading to 90, the sprite will move to the upper part. Now that we understood more or less how the things move here using the properties speed and heading, we are going to add four an horizontal arrangement and four buttons. We are going to add the buttons inside the horizontal arrangement. With these buttons, we are going to move the spaceship or the sprite. So we are going to use one button for the up, down, left and right. So we are going to rename these buttons and then we are going to change their labels to up, down, left and right. When we finish to do this, we are going to go now to the blocks. So let's block. The first thing that we need to do is to create a procedure. So a procedure is just a set or a group of instructions, okay? So let's add this procedure and we are going to name it move to. Then we are going to add the following blocks image sprite speed and set image sprite heading, okay? So the image sprite, it is the blocks from the spaceship. 
Then we are going to add two inputs to the procedure. We are going to call them heading and speed. Then we are going to use the heading and the speed values and we are going to add them to the proper block. Then we are going to add this procedure that we created to the four buttons events, okay? The click button event and we are going to add the procedures. So we add this click, okay, when, up button click, we call the procedures, we do the same for the four buttons. Now we are going to set the following values for all of these buttons. You can pause the video to see the values. And that's all, we have finished this kind of app. So don't forget to leave a like. So now let's just check the app. If you check, when I press the button up, it goes up, down, down, left, to the left, and right, to the right. And that's all for this video guys. This is the way you move things in App Inventor. There are other ways that I will show you in the following videos. But please, don't forget to leave a like for this video and share it. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to keep learning and share this video with someone who's learning App Inventor, just like me. So, I will see you next time. My name is Eduardo. Bye bye.